Welcome to the 2017 Idaho Shamrock Shootout presented by MGM Targets and hosted by the Precision Rifle Shooters of Idaho here at beautiful Snake River Sportsman Range in Vail, Oregon. The 2017 Shamrock Shootout kicks off the inaugural season of the National Rifle League, a 501c3 nonprofit organization dedicated to the growth and education of precision rifle shooting through a wide range of outdoor public interest activities. Match directors Nate Lowerman and Jack Wilson have orchestrated a very entertaining match with 20 stages over the next two days. A hundred competitors with all skill levels across the nation have gathered here to put their long-range precision skills to the test, but only one will come out on top. Let's check out the action from day one of the 2017 Shamrock Shootout. Stage 6, Cliff Roofies. With a round count of 10 and a 2 minute time limit, the shooter will engage target 1 from the prone position with 1 round hit or miss, then engage target 2 with 1 round hit or miss, alternating back and forth for shots 1 through 5. Shooter will then transition to a kneeling position and alternate firing at the targets for shots 6 through 10. Fiona, how are you today? Good, how are you? Very good, thank you. So, you just completed your second stage of fire on your first day. Yeah. How was it? Uh, honestly, it was kind of scary. Uh, I'm not here with my husband. Uh, but, you know, I'm shooting 65 prime ammo. It's shooting awesome. And this is the second stage, so I've got the nerves out. And uh, having fun. Learning a lot. So the stage was a bit catawampus for me. Um, the bag dropped and then like I had double feed and so but I remember focusing on the fundamentals and like pull the magazine out. It was awesome. And then I managed to get four shots out. You did. So yeah. you I mean you definitely had a couple of issues that you had to work through. Yes. And you did it like a champ. Thank you. And then like you said, you got four shots out, but you did it in forty seconds. I know, thank you. And because I was focusing on the fundamentals, my husband always says relax, breathe, and then just you know, he, he tells me the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Good advice, yeah. Absolutely. Well, it looks like you're having a great time. Thank you, I am. It was awesome watching you shoot. There's the whole crowd was right there, like, come on, work through it. I know, work through it. Gonna, yeah. You yeah. worked through it and yeah. you finished like a champion, yeah. and it was phenomenal. Yeah, High awesome. five. Thank you very High much. Five. Okay. We can't okay. wait to see you shoot some more, and we'll talk to you soon. Absolutely. Thanks. here on stage six, which is your second stage for the day, day one of the Shamrock Shootout. I'm here with Mr. Dave Miller of DMR. How are you, sir? Doing good. Thank you today. Very good. Thank you. So how was this course of fire for you? Uh, this one went pretty well. I ended up uh, with eight of ten shots uh, on that. Uh, finished it in plenty of time. Wind was uh, favorable for me. and. Uh, Hopefully you can keep doing that for the rest of this uh, really fun uh, match you guys have. <laughs> we'll keep our fingers crossed yeah. for sure. Now, with this course of fire, it was your standard rooftop, but you had two positions, correct? Yes. You had to do a semi-prone where you were laying down and then uh, transition to a kneeling. 
What was your thought process? Because you were actually the first one up, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. So. I was first. I just put a uh, game changer bag over the front of the rooftop, had my gear bag with a rear bag under it, and that worked for both the kneeling and the prone portions of the stage. Perfect. Now, you, over the past year, besides shooting and everything else, you've had a tremendous amount of success with your business. So tell us a little bit about your build that you're shooting here today. Uh, today it's uh, a Tika chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor uh, with the XLR and a Vortex Gen 2 Razor. That's uh, quickly becoming one of my favorites for the match gun. Terrific. Oh, uh, and of course your own barrel. Yes, I've done all the work to it myself from the triggers to the barrel. So Terrific. Second stage, we have eight more today. Is there any kind of plan going into this or are you just going out there and, and saying, Let's do it? I usually just wing it. I didn't even open up the <laughs> Uh, of course, a fire book last night. Didn't study for the test or anything. Just load and go. Awesome. Well, it's a real pleasure, sir. We look Thank forward you. to seeing you at uh, another stage. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. Take care. Stage 9, third rock from the cliff. With a round count of 10 and a 2 minute time limit, the shooter will engage target 1 from the first firing point with 3 rounds hit or miss. The shooter will then transition to the second firing point and engage target 2 with 3 rounds, and finally transition to the third firing point and engage target 3 for 4 rounds. Hey guys, we are here at Third Rock from the Cliff with Nick. Nick, how are you, sir? I'm good. Terrific. So, you just uh, ran this course of fire and pretty much spanked it, man. Eight out of ten. Yeah, pretty good. I like it. Uh, I got kind of lucky. Uh, like the wind dropped down right as I was getting up there. Um, before and after, I've like, been kind of shifting winds. So, uh, I really got lucky. Well, we've had some pretty uh, crazy weather so far. Shifty winds, a little bit of rain here and there. Um, so it's been a little bit of a challenge for sure. Can you walk us through this course of fire? Yeah, uh, we had one target, uh, I think it was like 317. We had to engage it three times um, off of first point. Target two, we'd get up and uh, move to the next set of rocks and engage it for another three shots. And uh, the third target, uh, 420, 417, I think it was, um, had to engage that one, four shots, uh, small little hangers. Fun course of fire. Terrific. Now, going through the course of fire here today, what type of gear are you using? What, what did you bring out this weekend? What caliber are you shooting? What rifle? Uh, so I'm shooting a 6BRX caliber. Okay. Um, KMW, uh, KMW stock. Um, what I learned this time is I, pillows, man. 
That's really what it is. Um, if you got some good support um, in this terrain, and the way they have it set up, uh, it's a, a nice pump pillow um, and some front bags really work. I see a lot of people using uh, uh, Game Changer. The, the Game Changer's definitely yeah. been out here quite a bit. It's uh, definitely made a mark over the past few months uh, in the industry. So yeah. definitely yeah. see more of that out there. I've seen people using a lot of it's working. Perfect. So you're on your what third or fourth course of fire today? Uh, I think we're on our third. third. Game plan moving forward? Uh, just watch the winds. Slow down. Um, try and just try and watch where my shot goes. Perfect. Well, we wish you the best of luck, sir. Thank you. We'll catch you on the next uh, evolution here, right. and we'll see you soon. All right. Thank you. Stage 8, Strawbreaker. With a round count of 10 and a 2 minute time limit, the shooter will move to the first firing point and engage target A with one round and target B with one round. The shooter will then transition to the second firing point and then repeat until all five firing points have been fired from. My name is John Philman. We're here at the uh, day one of the Shamrock Shootout here in Idaho. It's been a good day. A little bit of rain today, but uh, everybody's having a good time. Shooting okay. Uh, hopefully we, we can end up with two more stages left. Finish it up good and uh, have a good day tomorrow. I'm here with uh, Tim Milkovich. Yes. Uh, Tim, how was your day today? Uh, started out a little slow, but it's picking up. It's doing pretty well towards the end here. You're running a new rifle to, for this match, right? New caliber? I am. So I went back to shooting 6XC after about a five year wait, and I'm shooting a, a Surgeon Scalpel. Awesome. And uh, optic on there? Optics is my US Optics ER25 with the Horus 59 reticle. Vice President of Sales and Marketing for HS Precision. We're out here on the Idaho with the Shamrock Shootout. Had a great match today. Uh, made a few mental mistakes, as typically normal, but I did uh, fairly well. It's been a tricky course of fire. The wind's been really tricky, but had a great time. We're in a great squad. Um, I've got Kent here, one of my sales guys, who's doing awesome today, so we're just enjoying it. Tyler Freighter and this is my wife Janae. 
Uh, we're out here at the inaugural NRL uh, match. This is the, the Idaho Shamrock Shootout. Um, really excited to have this as our inaugural shoot. We shot this shoot last year. The ROing is spectacular. All of them are shooters, so there's never any question. Uh, MGM is, is also sponsoring this. Every, every shot you can see uh, immediate feedback with the excellent ROing. It's going off without a hitch. Uh, also, they, they got a bunch of off-the-range activities. Uh, we, we probably indulged a little bit too much in those last night, but had a blast. Played some shooter bingo, played some left, right, center. Yeah, we're having a great time. It's been amazing out here. I have to say the ROs are top-notch. Shooting, the course of fire has been amazing. We're having some good time, you know. Shooting a lot of dirt, a little more steel than dirt, hopefully, but everyone's having a good time. Um, I, I'm loving today. Yeah, we couldn't ask for anything more. This is outstanding. Stage 7, Metalocalypse. With a round count of 10 and a 2 minute time limit, the shooter will engage target 1 with 2 rounds hit or miss from firing point 1. Then transition to the next firing point and repeat until all 5 firing points have been fired from. Marcus, how are you, sir? I'm good. How are you doing? Very good. Oh, Thank you. Finished your first course of fire. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, describe it for us, sir? Uh, at first, you know, we were all looking at it, and we were kind of intimidated by all the Impact. angles, and, you know, whether or not you wanted to use a bag or not on the front, and just what, what you were going to do. But uh, after I, I just got done shooting it, um, really it didn't end up being you know, too bad. Once, once you get into it, and you find a groove, and you have a game plan of what you're going to do, and you stick to it, then, you know, the stage just kind of falls in line after that. Mm -hmm. What's your game plan for the rest of the day? Um, just, you know, keep it simple. Again, like stick to, when I get to a stage, make a game plan, stick to it. Um, don't think about anything else other than that stage. And, and for me, it, it's just taking my time moving through the stage. I typically shoot a lot faster than uh, your average shooter, which isn't necessarily always a good thing at all. Um, so I, I want to finish a stage with, you know, enough time left over to be comfortable, but I want to also take my time on these shots. So that, that's my goal for this match and just going through these stages today. Stage 3, Swingers Party. With a round count of 10 and a 2 minute time limit, the shooter must have their rifle through the noose to engage the target. The shooter will engage target 1 with 2 rounds, target 2 with 2 rounds, target 3 with 2 rounds, target 4 with 2 rounds, and target 5 with 2 rounds. My name's Josh, I'm at the Shamrock Shootout here, shooting the uh, Swingers Party. 
you know, of course, as far as two rounds at each of the five different targets they had out there. It's a uh, very challenging, challenging course here. We're here at the 2017 Shamrock Shootout, the National Rifle League. Caracal USA is proud to be the platinum sponsor for the 2017 inaugural season of the National Rifle League. This match has been a great time. We're really happy to be involved with such a great group of shooters. All the feedback we've got, all of the support that we've received from the shooters, we're happy to give it right back. Uh, couldn't be happier to be here. Looking forward to the rest of the year, and we hope for great things. This concludes day one of the 2017 Idaho Shamrock Shootout. The rocky terrain, strong winds, and rain put competitors' skills to the test as it brought them out of their comfort zone. For some shooters, this was their first time shooting in this type of terrain. Stay tuned next time for our coverage of day two in the awards ceremony and find out which three competitors came out on top for the 2017 Shamrock Shootout presented by MGM Targets. <laughs>